You got... <laughs> what I'm getting ready to tell you, I, I just can't... I am not able to put it into words. And that's insane. What? Are you serious? 12 million bees have died in Florida. Instantly. Not slowly over a process of disappearing or getting lost and can't come back or a gradual sliding die-off, which is typically potentially possible. No, 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 no. We're talking Florida again. We're talking red tide. Let's talk about the red tide first. There's a red tide, a red bloom. But it's not your typical red bloom that's close to the shore. No, no. This thing's 25 miles out into the Gulf, southwest Florida, and it's 40 miles wide, and there's thousands of fish washing up on the banks of seven beaches along the Florida coast. What's going on? Something biblically is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ. And while that's going on, and ABC News is down there now with their cameras reporting it. It's not Paul Begley technology either. I mean, they're bringing in the big boys. But they're writing articles about Paul Begley because I have, two days ago, I did a video right here on this YouTube channel, on my channel page. Go watch it. It's about the red tide in Florida. The fish are dying. The Hosea prophecy. It's biblical proportions what's going on down there. And you think that's the beginning. But now we have 12 million bees. Let me read this article to you. Where? Florida. Okay. Authorities have have already ruled out disease. So listen to me very closely. Before you people start jumping off the bandwagon, attacking me and throwing darts and spears and arrows, hold it a minute. Authorities have already ruled out disease, including the infamous colony collapse disorder, or what's known as CCD, as the cause of a recent honeybee holocaust. It's a honeybee holocaust? What? And it took place where? In Broward County. Hanging chads. Remember that? Now hang on. It's in Broward County, Florida. They're reporting that 12 million bees from roughly uh, an area there they all dropped dead at roughly the same time. They didn't slowly die off. They died instantly. 12 million bees. Florida. Florida. Dead fish in seven beaches in Florida. Swarms of locusts in seven regions of where? No, not Florida. Ethiopia. 7,000 buffalo fell dead in three days. Where? Vietnam. 7,000 bald eagles died in a 10-day period eating the dead carcasses of rats and scraps and poisonous things in a landfill in Comox Valley. Where? Vancouver, Canada. See, this thing is happening. Now you've got 12 million bees. Are we talking the birds? Dead blackbirds found out the sky in Arkansas? The bees in Florida? The cattle? in Wisconsin and around the world, and the trees. I mean, what's going on? The droughts in Texas and around the globe. Are we aware? Are you focused? Are you saved? Now, let me finish reading this because I think when we start to grasp the Hosea prophecy and start to realize, I'm going to have to put the honeybees in my book I'm writing right now. I'm writing one right now called Texas Blood Lake because we've got these lake turning red in Texas and we got, the, we got the Gulf of Mexico with a 40-mile-wide red tide bloom in the middle. What? 25 miles off the coast. First of all, back to Florida. Red tides don't form 25 miles off a coast. They're usually within a mile of a coast. And they're usually in shallower water, water with warmer. And not this time of year, but not 25 miles out. Not 25 miles out, and not 40 miles wide, and not in cooler waters, and not in December. What? Back to the beads. Just keep that in mind. So, the CDC says, no, 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 no. This is not colony collapse disorder. No. There's 12 million bees have dropped dead roughly at the same time. And the local beekeepers say that the pesticides 
we're likely to blame. Now, the CCD is the term. Now, this happened in September, but nobody's been talking about it. But it happened in Florida. And I'll be honest with you. I was told about it back then. I said, eh. And I was moving on. But, but when this red tide came and I started focusing on the areas, I began to think, what is God doing again? What is God doing again? He's, I'll tell you what he's doing again. He's shaking things up. The birds and the bees and he's rattling the trees. I mean, I'm serious. With earthquakes in diverse places. Volcanoes near the Canary Islands. Okay. They died instantly, basically. The local beekeepers say, well, maybe it was pesticides to blame. But the CCD is the term often used to describe the implacable mass of die-off of honeybees around the world which typically involves honeybees leaving their hives and, for whatever reason, never finding their way home. Mass die-offs, though, are associated with the CCD, often occur at seemingly random locations around the world and typically involve a gradual process of disappearance and eventual colony collapse. But these dead bees typically don't do what happened in Florida. They don't just die! 12 million bees just don't die. But guess what? Neither do 5,000 blackbirds. Don't just dive out of the sky on New Year's Eve at 12 minutes to midnight in the heart of B.B. Arkansas and crash into the pavement. No. And 100,000 drumfish just don't wash up on the banks on New Year's Day in the Arkansas River. Hey, and 2 million fish just don't wash up at Chesapeake Bay. And 7 million fish just don't wash up dead in Redondo Beach, California. And 212 dairy cows just don't fall dead in a, in a dairy farm in Stockton, Wisconsin. What's going on? We need to repent of our sins. Because according to Hosea chapter 4, verses 1, 2, and 3, I'll tell you what's going on. God said, the word of the Lord said, he has a controversy with the people, with us, with the land. Nobody wants to hear it no more. Nobody wants to hear Pastor Bagley talk about it. Nobody wants to hear... Nobody wants to hear that the... God said, hear the word of the Lord, you children of Israel, for I have a controversy with the inhabitants of the land. I have a problem with you people, is what God's saying, through the prophet Hosea, 3,000 years ago. It never happened then. It's happening now. But maybe it's because this is the year 2011. Maybe that's why that lake turned blood red in Texas. Maybe that's why that earthquake hit on 3 11, 11 in Japan and rattled the, literally rattled the, the ground for six minutes. And then the tidal wave came ashore in, inland for six miles. And then six nuclear reactors melted down and 28,000 people were left dead. Maybe that's why these occurrences are taking place. Maybe it's because God has a problem with us. Why? Because there's no truth, nor mercy, nor knowledge of God in the land. I'm going to keep preaching it. I'm going to preach it until the Lord comes back. I'm telling you, folks, it's time to get saved. We're running out of time. They're arresting preachers on the streets for having signs up about giving your life to Jesus. They're arresting preachers in Dearborn, Michigan for reading their Bible standing in the streets because they're too close to an Arabic festival. You listen to me. They're, they're all, they, were, they gave two fines to, to a couple in California because they had a Bible study in their house without a permit. People were gathering for a Bible study. They said, that's illegal. You got to have a permit. Since when do you have to have a permit in America to read the Bible? But you, you can do a lot of other things with a lot of other folks without a permit. Oh, what's going on? I'll tell you what's going on. They're saying good is evil and evil is good and God is has a problem. And here's what he said. Because of these things, because you're swearing, you're lying, you're killing, you're stealing, you're committing adultery, they break out and blood touches blood. Therefore shall the land mourn and everyone that dwelt therein shall languish. And here's what he said would happen. The beast of the field, the fowls of heaven, yay, and the fishes of the sea will be taken away. And he could have said, and your lakes are going to turn red like he said in, in Revelation. He could have said the bees are going to die. He could have said disease and plagues are coming up on the earth, earthquakes and divers places like he said in Matthew. I'm telling you, folks, get saved. Please, I beg you, I beg you, Accept Jesus as your Savior. Send me a personal message if you want to become a Christian. Just say, I want to be saved. I want to be saved. We'll help you get saved today. Do it now. I'll be right back.